In this video, I'm going to look at how to set up your producer work area when you're logging into it for the very first time. I'm going to show it through a cloud implementation. On-premise is slightly different, but the basics are still the same. I'm going to start from the point where we've got our URL to access producer. Maybe that's been given to you by your master author, or maybe you're doing this via the start producer link in manager. It doesn't really matter. Here we're going via the URL. I'm going to access that. It's going to download my .senl file. I need to have installed the SAP Enable Now Launcher to start this, but assuming that's in place, just click to open that. And that will go away and it will start up Producer for me. Now, the very first time I log in, it's going to want to update a whole bunch of things from the server. What this is doing is downloading a set of resources that SAP Enable Now needs to be able to run. That's going to include things like scripts that it needs, styles and standards that have been set up, that kind of stuff. It may take a while depending on your network connection, so just leave it to do its thing. Now, don't worry if your screen looks like this when it finishes loading everything. It's still doing some work in the background. Still just wait for it to finish rendering the whole screen. The last thing it renders is the toolbar. So when you see the toolbar pop up, you know that you're good to go. Now, the last thing it did, you saw briefly it flashed up another dialog box and it was downloading some stuff. You may see it do that. If content objects have already been assigned to you as an author, then those content objects are now downloaded automatically for you and checked out. These objects will be checked out to you to this folder called content. If I go and look in this, I can see under here that I've been assigned one simulation, which is currently empty. It's been checked out to me. It's got this green pencil and it's called invoicing a customer. I can see that that's been checked out to me. If I select it and go over onto the right hand side under protocol, I will see that this has been assigned to me. Okay, so that's why I have this here. Now, this exists on the server as a placeholder, or maybe it's completed content that's been assigned to you for review, but it's out there on the server. I know it's on the server because it's got all of this information here. I can see a bunch of stuff's been done for it already. But it's currently dropped into this folder called content. This folder called content exists only on my PC. And the reason why it's been put into there is because SAP Enable now doesn't know where else it's supposed to go because I've not checked out anything else on the server. I've not checked out the server structure, so it doesn't know where it goes. This is an important concept to understand about SAP Enable Now. Each content object knows what it contains. So if I've got a group, the group knows what object should be in it, but objects do not know their parent. So this object invoicing a customer, there is nothing stored about that object that says, oh, it's in such and such a folder and this is where you should put it. Children objects do not know their parents. Parents only know what children they have. And that way the whole structure can be built fairly easily and things can be moved around without anything breaking. So bear that in mind. Even if you don't have content that's been assigned to you that's automatically checked out, the one thing you will see when you first start producer is this group called content. Okay, that's all you will see. And you'll think, well, where's everything else? Where's all these resources that it said it downloaded? And where's the rest of the stuff on the server? To answer the first question, the resources, they've been downloaded. You don't see them initially by default. But if you go to view, work area details, show resources, you'll see them. And they're always listed here at the top. If I expand that, I can see that there's a bunch of scripts in here, which Enable Now needs. And there's a bunch of styles and standards that have been set up as well. I don't really need to worry too much about those. Most authors or content producers won't. So I'm just going to hide that again so it doesn't get in our way. Now, back to the content we see here. This has been assigned to me. I can quite easily go away, edit this, record it, do whatever else I need to, and then save it back to the server via this button here. But say I want to see other content that's on the server. I want to know where this fits into things and what else has been done. The way I do that, I go to server work area, and there's a few options in here. Check out assigned objects. We'll basically do the same thing that we was just done automatically for us and bring down all of the content objects that have been assigned to us. Like I say, that seems to be done automatically now. 
But it's the next option that I want to look at, check out objects. If I select that, Enable Now will build up a list of everything that exists out there on the server. This may take a while again, but once it gen generates that list, I'll see it here in this checkout dialog box. Now, interestingly, checking it out here doesn't mean it's going to check it out for editing. It just means it's going to copy it from the server onto your local C drive so that you can work with this content and you can see it. Now, um, you may see a folder called unsorted. This is stuff that doesn't really have a home yet. Everything should ultimately be under this thing called root. This is where all content development and or delivery goes. So everything up there on the server should be under here somewhere. And if I expand root, I can see there's a whole bunch of things in here. Now, say I don't really care too much about these. I know I'm only going to be working on training material in the sales area. So that's the only thing I want to see. So I'm going to go down to Globocorp Training, and under that I see a group called Sales. I only care about this stuff. So I'm going to select by just single clicking on this checkbox to the left of it. I'm selecting Sales. That will select everything underneath Sales. Okay? Now, a very, very important thing here. I want to see Sales. I don't really care too much about the other stuff, but if you remember what I said about content objects not knowing their parent, I need to know where this fits into everything when it's been downloaded to my PC. So what I need to do is I need to select all of these nodes, all of these branches, all the way back up to root, okay? So here, important, control click on these things. So if I work my way up from sales, I go to Globocorp Trainings, the next branch up, and I'm going to control click on that checkbox to the left of it. The importance of control click is that will select only this object and not everything underneath it. I've already got sales selected, but it's not selected procurement, corporate, or anything else. And I need to do the same way all the way back up to and including root. So I'm going to select root here. I don't need to select work area because I've already got that here. Okay, so now I've got sales and going up the branch to global corp training and then up to root. I'm going to click OK on that and that will bring in those specific objects. Now, when that's finished, you're gonna see a message that says, use server root as local root. This means that basically you've checked out the, the root object on the server and it wants to know if you want to use that as the root object in your own local version of what's on the server. Always say yes. Now let's look and see what that's given us. So you can see already that I've lost my content folder and the one thing that was assigned to me has been assigned somewhere else. So let's go and find it. So under root, I can now see that there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Um, here is the whole structure that we saw before, but you can see that only Globocorp training is expandable. And I can expand this down and I can see sales. Now here's the other stuff. Here's the one that was checked out to me already, invoicing a customer. And I've got everything else under sales but I don't have anything under procurement, under corporate, or any of these other ones. Now, that's shown by the little symbol on the lower right of all of these things. Anything that exists on the server has this, this symbol on the lower right of its icon. Here, it's a blue cloud for sales, which means that sales is synchronized between the server and my local work area. By contrast, procurement has a white cloud because that is not synchronized at the moment. So now I'm only ever going to see the stuff that I'm interested in, which is the stuff in sales. And anything that's in procurement or anything else, I don't really care about, so I'm not going to see that. There is some other stuff that is pulled in automatically, and this is under toolbox in this particular example. Now, why did that get pulled in when I said that I only wanted sales? Because if I look over here on the right-hand side under protocol, it has must have selected. This has been set up by the administrator and they basically said, whatever else you get, you must have what's in the toolbox. And this is typically template, shared media, stuff like that. And this is probably why it took a while to download so many different objects when we only said we wanted sales. So far, so good. Now say that I have to do some work with the procurement content. How do I get that content so I can see it? Simply put, right click and select load from server. And that will, again, go to the server, see what is underneath procurement, 
and say, okay, procurement's got these objects. Do you want individual ones or do you want all of them? And again, I can select individual ones as long as I control click all the way up to the top. Otherwise, it's not going to know where to go. But in this case, I'll just select the whole of procurement, click OK, and that will go and get those objects from the server for me. Now, once that's finished, I can see that procurement now has a blue cloud because this is now synchronized between the server and my work area. And I can expand that and I can see all of the content that's in it. OK. Now, if I don't need to work on a particular area anymore, I can right click and select remove locally. It will say which stuff in here do you want to remove? It selects procurement and everything under it. I have the option to go up a level if I want, but I don't want to do that. So I'll just leave it with the default selection, click remove locally, and then I'm back to as I was before with procurement showing with a white cloud and then nothing else beneath it is synchronized and I'm back to working in just sales. So this is a nice easy way of working so that you're only synchronizing the pieces of what's on the server that you're particularly interested in working in and not having to synchronize the whole work area, which will obviously take a lot longer. Okay, that was all I wanted to show in this video. Hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching.